hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how you can populate a table with your database so for example I want to show my database table in my C sharp applications all the data I want to see in the form of table in my C sharp application how can I do that I will show you today by using data grid view or table so I have made a table like this and when I press this load table button it loads all the data in the database in the form of table in this table so how did I do that I will show you now, right now so first of all what I have done is I have taken a data grid view this one from the toolbox and drop drag and dropped here this okay and I have taken a button and I have changed its its text as load table so I have this and this these two things I have and the name of my data grid view is data grid view 1 which is a default you can change it and now how can I load this so I will select this load button and double click it and this will lead me to the code so what I have written is if you are following this video I will lead you to the code first of all I have done the connection so string con string this is a string name and I have passed the collect connection variables so data source is equal to local host then semicolon port 3306 username root password root if you are using uh, or if you are viewing my videos you know how to connect mysql with your c sharp application in the next line i have made a connection so mysql connection con database is equal to new mysql connection and i am passing this string in this box in the third line i have written mysql command command database is equal to new mysql command and i have passed a simple query select star from database dot table so my database name and dot my table name this is my table name okay and then comma this variable I have passed here so write these three line and then make a try catch block try and catch exception ex and in the catch block write message dot show ex dot message so this will catch any exception if you are having in your code or while running then in try block I have written my SQL data adopter this is a adopter for the data grid view I'm making so my SQL data adopter SDA is equal to my SQL data adopter and then I will I have copied this variable and pasted here dot select command and I'm passing this variable here then I have declared a variable data table db data set is equal to new data table bracket and bracket closed and then once again I have copied this variable and pasted here dot fill and pass this variable here in the next line I have declared a binding source B source is equal to new binding source and then just copy this variable here dot data source is equal to this variable this one 
right and then once again I have copied the name of my data grid view this one from here copy sorry I have changed my data grid view name yeah now it's okay so I have copied my data view with grid view name and paste it here dot data source is equal to b source which is this variable name and then at last I have written SDA dot update in the bracket I have passed this variable okay so if you want just pause the video and copy the code and now we are going to test the code once again run the code give the username and password password is correct and when I press this load table button it loads all the columns in my database and show it here but suppose I don't want to show username and password and other columns in my table and I just want to show only employee ID name surname and age how can I do that I will show you instead of this query select star from database you just need to write each column name which you want to show so I want to show EID comma name comma surname comma age so now it will show only four columns employee ID name surname and age let's see try and run the program and when I load this table it shows only four columns so in this way you can customize your table also now if you want the table to be loaded automatically when this second form appears and you don't want this button to load the table it and this table should be loaded automatically how when we achieve that I will show you so just above your this load table button click event you can make a function called void load table bracket bracket closed and in here you can copy all the code which have you have written for loading the table so in the event of the button click of this table so just double click it and just copy all the code from here and just paste it in your load table function which you have currently made okay and just copy this load table function and paste it above your code wherever you have your initialize component function declaration or call so just go there and paste it there and just close it so I know uh, I think you know what is this because I have uh, already explained you what is this function so wherever this function is there just call your load table function and now when you run the program to and username and password is correct your table is loaded automatically without this button right so in this way you can load your table automatically also now how to refresh your table so for example 
I want to add some data this save data I have already shown you in, in the previous video so for example I have right now seven employees so I want to add the eight employee so eight call marks age and I save the data by clicking this button saved but you can see this data is not refreshed automatically right but you click when you click this load table button it is refreshed so this load table button you can also use to refresh your table otherwise you can also do one more thing just copy this load table function and go to your form and wherever you have written your save data code insert into the database just click and double click it and go to the bottom of that code just here after catch block and just paste that function here and now when you run the program your data will be refreshed automatically so let's see now I have eight employees I want to add ninth nine something his age is 43 and when I save it just look at here right now I have 8 and when I save it it's saved and the table is refreshed automatically so in this way you can use load the table and customize your table according to yourself I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now